Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In this video, we will add category field in the edit page to update the information of any tutorial post or any post. So for that, uh, first we need to go on index page and use to get the category. Here we are going to use to load the categories. Let copy it and paste in the edit. Here we can use that. Okay, so we have paste that here. Now we need to add a field, and for that we will use that field code code from here. Here is the main div. Let copy it and place after the title. Here is the title. Place that here. Now the next thing is that we need to refresh the page here in the edit mode, removing the debugger. So it is refreshed. One thing more, we need to add the references of the CS and JS files, which is here. Copy this in the top, paste here. Now refresh once again. So it will be in a better look. So it is in a better look. Okay. We have all the information available here. Now what we need to do? We need to play with a jQuery to select some specific uh, IDs by default. So what we will do? Category dot prop so as you can see we have successfully loaded these values now we need to select them uh, with the help of jquery for that what we will do we will use a simple and complex method uh, which is complex for the newbies but if you are a beginner or intermediate level of uh, front-end developer then it will be easy for you uh, i will use category dot the values and I want to select two values uh, 7 and 8 so what I will do I will create an array for 7 comma 8 and hit enter and it's um, sending me that it is an error so what I will do I will use a dot change method with that um, by this we can update information okay yes uh, it is giving us the error because of the dot which we are not using here and dot change and hit enter and you can see uh, two values are get selected we will copy this and refresh the information uh, we are also getting the category from the back end and we need to update that here how uh, when we are getting the data from these these things what we will do uh, we will get the information let's say load select associated values here so how we can do that we have to stop the execution of the application go into the post controller in the edit we will get information of category from the sixth element or we can check that how 
many elements are there 0 1 2 3 4 5 and it is 6 from the sixth element and use here a view back view back dot category okay and it will return me the comma separated value I will copy this execute the application go into the edit and use this value here in this block like this and it will only be executed when the drop down is populated like this now refresh this page and let's see how it's work so it is refreshing and here we have the value uh, oops yes we have to use add sign here now refresh the page again and the information is not updated so what we will do we will use a variable here val cat is equal to this information and console cat now it will let us know how it's work it is refreshing and we are not getting information yes we are not getting information from that yes in the case of uh, some we are not getting the information so this is for then which is not null in a case of category so now go to the console unexpected number yes it is unexpected number so we need to store that in a string let's use it like this and we can use to concat this okay now refresh once again Okay, it's still giving us the error the reason is that we are using a wrong syntax here okay let it go like this and refresh so it is now a string now we need to concat this with some other here you can see it is now what we need to do we can create this and add this okay so now once again refresh and see the final string Here we have the final string and you can see here how it is uh, automatically get selected. So I hope this video is informative. If you have any kind of question, you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects YouTube channel. Take care. Bye bye. Have fun.